The 11 stone churches built by Ethiopian King Lalabella is considered to be the eighth wonder of the world. When young Saint Lalabella was born into the Zagwe dynasty in Ethiopia, the town of Lalabella was known as Roa. The name Lalabella was given to the young boy when he was surrounded by a swarm of bees soon after birth. His mother believed this was a sign that he would come to rule Ethiopia one day. His name literally means, the bees recognize his sovereignty. Lalabella is best known as the king who ordered the construction of 11 monolithic stone churches found in the town today. Lalabella is a pilgrimage site for members of the Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church, the church itself is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Rakhun Churches. Lalabella's goal was to create a new Ethiopian Jerusalem, and he recreated many biblical scenes, such as the stable, out of carved rock. Of all the churches of Lalabella, in Ethiopia, the one dedicated to St. George is certainly the most scenic and best preserved and is considered the most beautiful by the many tourists who come here every year to admire it. Bet Georges, that literally means the House of St. George, is in an isolated position with respect to the interconnected complexes of the other rock churches of Lalabella, the fact of being by itself is a characteristic that makes it unique and immediately recognizable. Moreover it is undoubtedly the most famous and iconic of the churches of this monumental complex. The Bet Georges is by far the most spectacular of these churches. Carved out of the ground, and shaped from the inside out, it is one, unbroken piece of stone. Bet Georges is connected to the other sunken stone churches through a series of elaborate tunnels. The Church of St. George is one of eleven rock-hewn monolithic churches in Lalabella, a town in the Amhara region of Ethiopia. The historical and religious site was named Lalabella after the King Gevremesco Lalabella of the Zagwe dynasty, who commissioned its construction. He is regarded as a saint by the Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church. The Church of St. George was carved downwards from a type of volcanic tuff. This is the sole architectural material that was used in the structure. It has been dated to the late 12th or early 13th century AD, and thought to have been constructed during the reign of King Gavremesco Lalabella, of the late Zagwe dynasty. It is among the best known and last built of the eleven churches in the Lalabella area, and has been referred to as the eighth wonder of the world. Muslim invaders had temporarily halted pilgrimages to the Christian Holy Land, so Lalabella decided to create a homegrown holy land constructed from chiseled slabs of rock. Lalabella's vision of Jerusalem included intricately carved stone churches that featured windows, columns, drainage ditches and catacombs. Lalabella, king of Ethiopia, sought to recreate Jerusalem, and structured the church's landscape and religious sites in such a way as to achieve such a feat the churches at Lalabella are clustered in two major groups, one representing the earthly Jerusalem, and the other representing the heavenly Jerusalem. Located directly between them is a trench representing the River Jordan. The dimensions of the trench are 25 meters by 25 meters by 30 meters, and there is a small baptismal pool outside the church, which stands in an artificial trench. On first approach the site appears wholly inaccessible, with sheer drops on every side and no access bridge. It is accessed via a very narrow man-made canyon, spiraling downwards, which changes to a tunnel close to the church, to further conceal its presence. The church is cut 40 feet down, its roof forming the shape of a cross. Inside the church, there is a curtain that shields the Holy of Holies and a priest displaying books and paintings to visitors. In the shadow of one of the arms of the cruciform-shaped church is a replica of the Ark of the Covenant. King Lalabella promised to remedy this forgetfulness and started the work of Bet Georges, it seems that the saint was often present during the construction of his house. And the footprints left by his horse's hooves are visible in the mother rock around the church. The fascinating monolithic church of Bet Georges stands at the southwest end of the town of Lalabella, it is in the shape of a cross, and it is the only rock church with a cruciform plan, the other churches at Lalabella have a square or rectangular plan. The point from which you can better admire the church is a small hill on one side of the church, from the top you can see the surrounding landscape. The plain of red tuff on which the building is dug, its cruciform plan and also the three Greek crosses carved one inside the other. 
The church is surrounded by deep trenches, from the top of these trenches. As you approach the edge, you realize the depth of the excavations, over 12 meters, and you can admire the decorations and windows on the walls of the church. To reach the base and the entrance of the church it is necessary to go through a narrow trench, about 50 meters long, that ends in a covered passage, that, in turn, leads to a short stairway, that leads to the clearing that surrounds the building. The church was built by digging from the top down and, as the workers dug the rock, also the decorations and windows, from which they could enter to dig even the interior of the church, here, as in the other churches of Lalabella, there is no type of building material, but the church was built solely of rock. The state of preservation of the St. George Church is exceptional, thanks also to the hardness of the rock in which it was excavated, the rock walls have only a few yellow stains caused by humidity and molds that stick to the rock but that contribute to increasing the charm of this sacred building. The monolithic church of St. George is divided into four levels, bordered by cornices. That revolve around the building, on each wall there are ogival windows framed in an elegant bar-leaf decoration, the windows are both blind and open, in detail there are twelve windows open on the upper floor and nine blind windows on the lower floor. The church rests on a rectangular base about one and a half meters high meaning that the entire building reaches a height of 13 meters, going up the few steps of the base you access the entrance of the church that has a cruciform shape and a vaulted ceiling decorated with a cross. The Church of St. George also houses numerous treasures, whose view is forbidden to the faithful, among these treasures is a wooden box that is said to have been carved by King Lalabella himself. Each church has its own sanctuary, a sacred area inaccessible to the faithful and closed by heavy curtains, in the rock that surrounds the church there are numerous caves where mummified ancient pilgrims rest, who came to Lalabella from every part of Africa and who swore to remain for eternity near the Church of St. George. The Church of St. George was the last, in chronological order, of the churches that are built in Lalabella, legend has it that, once the other churches were completed, St. George appeared to King Lalabella riding his white horse and reproached him for having forgotten him and for not having built any church in his name. The town of Lalabella is completely isolated from the modern world. Without motor vehicles, gas stations, or paved streets, the town goes about its business as it has for hundreds of years. Religious ritual is central to the life of the town, one-tenth of its population is devoted to priesthood. Regular processions, extensive fasts, and crowds of singing and dancing priests are also part of the package. The eleven solid rock churches, in the hills not far from the town, make Lalabella one of the holiest places in Ethiopia. Today, the site is considered one of the centers of pilgrimages for Ethiopian Christians. This atmosphere combined with the religious architecture and simplicity of the town's way of life gives the city of Lalabella a distinctively timeless, almost biblical atmosphere.